And what you need is you need Jesus Christ. That's what you need this year. Because all those other things that you're chasing after, if you just take a moment and think, you were chasing it last year. And you were chasing that the year before that. And the year before that. And you still haven't found satisfaction in the things that you need. Or that you think you need. Or that the media tells you you need. But I'm here to proclaim to you that what you need is you need salvation in Jesus Christ. That's what you need. You need the power of the living God, the creator God, to come and fill you, change you, cleanse you, change the way you think, change your heart. What you need is you need Jesus Christ. You need a change of heart. You need a change of mind. You need a change of lifestyle. That's what the Bible says. Why do you think you need all these things that you chase, that you covet after, that you lust after? Why would I go to hell? No, I'm not going to go to hell. I'm going to inherit eternal life through Jesus Christ because of his great love and his mercy. Why do you chase these things? Why do you think you need to go to Nordstrom or Neiman Marcus or Macy's or Forever 21 or The Gap? You go and you buy these things and you, you covet more and you lust more and you desire more and more and more and more and you're never satisfied. It never brings fulfillment. It never brings contentment. It never brings peace. It never brings satisfaction. But I'm telling you, when you discover Jesus Christ and Jesus comes in and changes you, you will have peace with God. You will have satisfaction in knowing that you have been changed by the power of the living God. Do you understand me, people? You don't need a new car. You don't need that new outfit. You don't need more jewelry. You don't need a new iPad. What you need is you need Jesus Christ to save you from your sin. You think, well, if I just, if I just get this big plasma TV, I and a new Xbox, I'll be good, a Wii set. I'll be good to go. If I can get this two or three games that I really love, I can sit down and learn them and master them and I can do the Wii thing, however you do that. Oh, and it'll just be satisfaction. I'll be content, I'll be in, I'll have fun. You're not. You're not content with these things that you covet for you lust after. I'm telling you folks, this is something you need to think about today. This is something that you need to consider. This is something that you need to ponder, to think about. Because I'm telling you, you can have the whole wide world in your pocket and you still will not be satisfied. Let me give you a verse by the man, the man of God, and the God-man, Jesus Christ. He said, what shall it profit a man if he gain the whole world and yet lose his soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Do you understand? You could have the whole world in your hip pocket. You could be Bill Gates Jr. And, and what's his name? The other guy all wrapped up in one. Have all their money, all their fortune, all their fame. Henry Buffett. Donald Trump. You have all the things in the world and everything that, that comes with it. The, the power and the, and the influence and, and all of the things that come with you. You can have everything you want but yet you lose your soul. Oh, did you know that one soul, one single solitary soul, according to the word of God, is worth the, more than the whole world? Do you understand? Jesus put a worth on the soul of a man that exceeds the riches of the entire planet. Do you understand that? Which is why Jesus Christ was willing to lay down his life for you who covet you who desire and have not you lust and you kill i'm telling you they're killing each other for deals at walmart these days you read the paper today 
Did you hear what happened down the road here? Oh yeah, they're shooting each other outside of Walmart and taking the stuff that people stood in line all night for to buy. Be careful. Be careful what you desire, what you covet, because somebody else wants it too. And they might take your life just to have it. I'm telling you, read your paper. I know of two people that were murdered for stuff they bought at Walmart last night. You might even get pepper sprayed while you're standing in line because you touched somebody or you rubbed them the wrong way. Huh? Then they pepper spray you. Take your purse and run out the door. Hey man, you run out here and you do and you chase after these things, you're gonna you're gonna pay for it. You're gonna pay for it. You need to consider why you're chasing these things. Why you desire these things. What motivates you to want all this stuff? I'm telling you, I know what it is. It's called discontent. It's called discontent. Because God has placed in your heart His law, His truth. He's placed it and He's written it on your conscience. And you think if you can attain to all these things apart from God, you will bring satisfaction. But you can't. You think if you can just get to the next step on the corporate ladder and make X amount next year and have a better Christmas, a better New Year, a different resolution, then somehow your life will be fixed. But I'm telling you, eternity is in your heart and you will meet the eternal God, the Creator, the God of the Bible, the Son of God, Jesus Christ. You will meet Him face to face one day and then you will know and then you will understand. But for today, God in His richness of mercy and love for His creation, He sends out the Bible preachers to proclaim to you if you would humble yourself, if you would come to a place of brokenness before God, if you would humble yourself before God and cry out to Him for mercy, then He will come and He will pardon abundantly. He will come and manifest Himself to you. And then you will understand your heart is full of pride and covetousness. And you're chasing a dream that you'll never attain. And it's bothering you because you know what I'm telling you is true. That you are on the road to judgment. That you are on the road to devastation and hell. And unless you change, unless you repent, unless you're born again, you will not see the kingdom of God. You're going to go right into hell and then ultimately the lake of fire for eternity. So me, in love and in obedience to God and compassion for you, I come to you and I tell you, turn from your sin. Turn to Jesus Christ and live. It's a very simple message. Why does it generate such hostility in you? Because you're opposed to the truth. You love darkness and you don't love the light. You love things. You love, uh, you want to ride on the trolley car down to Fisherman's Wharf and have a fish sandwich. Instead of hearing the eternal gospel and the power of God, which is revealed through the Son of God, Jesus Christ, oh, what a terrible choice. What a terrible choice. You think if I be quiet that you'll have peace. I'm telling you, you'll never have peace because there's no peace for the wicked. You think if I stop preaching, then you'll be okay and you're content. And you, you might go around the corner there and a guy might rob you. But if you stop and, and consider the state of your heart right now and you repent and turn to Jesus Christ, and God can save you, change you, wash away all your sin, then you take the bolt in your head and you know where you're going to go for eternity. Because Jesus Christ said this, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believes on me, though where he were dead, yet shall he live. I'm telling you, Jesus Christ has the power of life and death in his hand. And he will judge, the Bible says, according to the scriptures, that he will judge the world in righteousness. That means he will judge you by a righteous standard that you do not, you cannot attain to. Not by TV standard, or XM satellite radio standard, or your magazine standard, or your media standard, your lifestyle culture standard. I'm telling you, Jesus is going to judge the world in righteousness, truth. And you fall way short. You're falling way short. And you need to be pardoned. You've offended God, San Francisco, with your covetousness. You've offended God with your chasing 60% off in the whole store. 
My gosh, if they had 60% off in the whole store, they'd go broke. <laughs>